Welcome back to this channel for solutions of practice problems for actuarial exams. We will look at a problem for exam P today. I'm giving you here some information about websites um, uh, that um, give information about me. I use the redirect service smarturl.it and after a forward slash you write a word that takes you to where you want to go. So if you type in smarturl.it forward slash Jedi, you will get me. And if you go to smarturl.it forward slash btdt dash p, you will get to the information about the manual for exam p that I wrote that helps you study for exam p. Notice that I use this btdt expression because I want you to be so prepared for the exam that when you take taking the exam and you look at every problem on it, you are able to say, been there, done that, because you have practiced so much that you know what to do when you look at a problem. Here's the problem that we will work on today. Two claimants play, place calls simultaneously to an insurance claims call center. The times x and y in minutes that elapse between the respective claimants get to speak with call center representatives are independent and identically distributed. The moment generating function of each variable is m of t equal to 1 over 1 minus 1.5 t squared for t less than 2 thirds. Calculate the standard deviation of x plus y. So if I can ask you to think about this a little bit, about what kind of things come to your mind. Um, this is an interesting question for you to think about. What ideas come to mind? One idea that should come to your mind is the moment generating function of a sum of two independent random variables is the product of their individual moment generating functions. And the standard deviation is the square root of the root of the variance. So if you find the variance of that sum, then you will be OK. But the variance is the second moment minus the square of the first moment. And the moment generating function is named so because it generates moments. So here is a hint of on how to solve the problem, basically what I just told you. But the other thing I want you to think about when you look at this is, do you recognize the distribution whose moment generating functions, function this is? And I give this Polish candy to my students for passing exams. If you memorize moment generating functions enough so that you know what distributions moment generating function this is, I would gladly give you that candy because you will probably pass exam P. Well, you will pass it with high probability. So think about it for a moment. Okay, let's write m sub x of t for the, specifically for the moment generating function of x and m sub y of t for the same for y. And of course they have the same formula. Since x and y are independent, the mgf of their sum is a product of the individual mgf, so it's 1 over 1 minus 1.5t to the fourth. And the first derivative of that mgf is, well, it's a derivative of 1 minus 1.5t to the negative 4, so it's negative 4 times 1 minus 1.5t to the negative 5 times negative 1.5, which is the derivative of the function inside. So this ends up being 6 times 1 minus 1.5t to the negative fifth. And its value at 0 is the expected value of the sum x plus y. The first moment. The first moment is the expected value. Then we look at the second derivative which will be the derivative of 6 times 1 minus 1.5t to the negative fifth. That's 6 times negative 5 times 1 minus 1.5t to the negative 6 times the derivative of the expression inside, which is negative 
because the derivative of 1 minus 1.5t with respect to t is just negative 1.5. So 6 times 5 times 1.5, it's 45. And uh, minus and minus cancel, so it's just 45 times 1 minus 1.5t to the negative 6. And that means that the second derivative the second derivative's value at zero is the second moment of x plus y, and it's 45. So that the variance is the um, second moment minus the square of the first moment, so 45 minus 6 squared, and that's 9, and the standard deviation is the square root of that, and that's 3. And this looks like a very good solution, nothing to complain about, but, but there is a faster solution. But the result that we just found could also be obtained directly from knowing what the distribution that we're working with is, from its moment generating function, which we write just as MGF. So let's first recall that the MGF of an exponential random variable t with hazard rate lambda is lambda over lambda minus t for t less than lambda. And if instead of the hazard rate, we use the mean of t, which is mu equal to 1 over mu, uh, mu equal to 1 over lambda, then the MGF can be written as lambda over lambda minus t, which is the same as 1 over 1 minus 1 over lambda times t. So 1 over 1 minus mu t, for t less than 1 over mu. This tells us that... Um, 1 over 1 minus 1.5t for t less than 2 thirds is the MGF of exponential distribution with mean 1.5. Then we see that m of t equal to 1 over 1 minus 1.5t squared for t less than 2 thirds is the MGF of a sum of two exponential, uh, independent exponential random variables with a mean 1.5, each also with variance of 1.5 squared. This sum has, of course, the gamma distribution. Now, the sum of two such sums, independent and identically distributed, has the same distribution as a sum of four independent, identically distributed exponential random variables, each with the mean of 1.5 and variance of 1.5 squared. That sum has the variance of four times 1.5 squared, which is the same, well, two, uh, four is two squared, so this is the same as two times 1.5 and n squared, which is three squared or nine. And that would give us the same answer, of course, because if variance is 9, the standard deviation is 3. But also, if you just memorize the MGF and variance of the gamma distribution, then you calculate the variance immediately. The general formula for the MGF of gamma distribution is of the form 1 minus theta t to the minus k, where the mean is k theta and variance is k theta squared. In this notation, if k is an integer, then you obtain this gamma distribution by adding k independent, identically distributed exponential random variables, uh, each with mean theta. Please remember that this is copyrighted material, where all the problems from the Society of Actuaries or Casual Textual Society uh, come from the societies and belong to them, and are used with permission. Good luck in your studies, and good luck on the exam.